This question is about a normal distribution, and we have to use the norm.dist function in Excel for this. And let's go ahead and type that in. If you type norm. Dot, you'll get all the norm. Dot functions. The first one is the one we want, so I'm hitting tab. And right here, it may be a little hard to read, but the parameters are listed below. The first one is x which is always the value. Now in this problem, uh, let's see, the first number 55.3 is the mean. The standard deviation is 8.1. And in part A is finally where we see the value right here, 66.05. So that's X. So that's the value we want. and this distribution function is going to return the uh, heights, the probability that height is less than this value. So that's exactly what we want here. The mean, I stated a minute ago, 55.3, standard deviation, 8.1. Now the last one is cumulative, and we want to do true here. Make sure you spell it correct. So again, it went the value, then the mean, then standard deviation, and we want cumulative because it's a height less than this number right here. Now we can hit enter. This they do want to round to three decimals, so it's uh, 0.908. You round that up. And let's hit submit. All right, so we got that one. Now, part B, what's the probability a randomly chosen child has height of more than 74.5? So, I didn't talk about the intuition previously, but the average height, the mean height, is 55. And so we wanted to know the chance a child has height less than 66. So it's a pretty good chance, because that's significantly higher than the average height. In this, part B... We want to know if a child has a height of more than 74 inches, which is much more above the mean. So there's not going to be a high percentage here, or high probability. So we're going to use the same function we did before, norm.dist, and x is now 74.5. All right, same mean, same standard deviation, 55. 8.3, 8.1 is the standard deviation, and we're going true. So there's all the values I used. All right, this is a very large probability, and I said it should be a very small probability. So what's happening here, this distribution, normal distribution function tells you the probability that this value, uh, that the probability that a random value is below the 74 value. This is a really high value, so almost all the values are below this one. But the question doesn't ask, uh, what's the probability a chosen child has height less than? It's a height more than this already large value. So what, the, what we have to do is take the opposite probability. So I could just do one minus this value and we need to compute this, so it equals uh, 1 minus, clicking on that. So rounding that is 0 0.009, so less than 1%. All right, so just remember, almost all the functions are set up to tell you a probability of something is less than a value, but if you ever get more, you take the opposite probability, which is 1 minus that other probability, which is exactly what we had to do here.